Good morning, I hope you're doing well. As you can probably notice by the sound of my voice, I am a little bit sick. <laughs> I have um, just got into my sewing room this morning because I have to pack up a few orders. It's post office day, so I'm heading straight to the post office this morning, dropping those orders, and then I have one order to sew and send out tomorrow. And then I'm also today, <clears throat> because it is like filming slash matchy day, I am going to be um, testing a new pattern for a tote bag. So I thought in this vlog I would show you how I make a pattern and um, yeah, test it all and sew it all together. In my last vlog I showed you my new embroidery machine. So yes, I start to feel better like throughout the day. Um, in the morning though until like lunchtime I feel like I'm underwater. <laughs> I don't know why that is and my sleep has been really bad. I get like a headache as soon as I put my head down on the pillow. Lots of water for me, but other than that, that'll be my day today. I'm also going to grab a quick bite to eat because I haven't done the groceries and I need to do that as well. Come along with me for just a chill vlog day. Moments like this, I'm so grateful that I do work from home because I can be sick and still work and not have to be forced to take it off. <laughs> Although I don't know if that's good or not but yes anyway let's get to it. Okay so I've done a few um, of my first tasks and now I'm gonna move into drafting this tote bag. I'll insert some pictures of like the vision I'm going for with it. Of course, my neighbor's going to start his motorbike. So basically, the first step of my process is sketching out the measurements that I want the bag to be. The first, yeah, so it'll be like the final measurement. So I want it to measure 30 by 40, whatever it might be. Um, And then I draw like the template that I'll cut the material out. But before I do that, I just like get the template and draw it on paper, like a much reduced thing just to see, just to see if it's gonna like fold together correctly. So that's what I'll just quickly do now. Like this. Fun fact. I used to like want to be a paper artist. I like am obsessed with paper and I've always like played with paper and so I used to make like paper cards and things when I first got a Cricut. I loved it. Okay. Obviously, drawn this incorrectly. Yeah, perfect. So this like tells me that <laughs> it's got to my brain works funny. This probably doesn't make any sense. But this tells me that how I've sketched it out, it's gonna work. What I'll do now is I'll move on to um, transferring this over to the material and then I'll cut it out in the material. I have to go do that in my garage and there's like no good light in there so I'll come back to the camera. Gone ahead and cut it out and attached it to the batting and then I'm gonna quilt it. update um i'm kind of powering through it because it takes such like so long this is what i've got for now this is the um strap length i did kind of originally go for putting the straps in the middle <laughs> well i'll show you um putting the straps in the middle of the bag but then I was scared, I'm always scared there's not going to be enough length up here, so I just shifted it up to just like the bottom of the bag, then that'll be it there, um, so I'm going to attach the other side strap now and keep going. This was really hard. Um, but is anything easy? Cute. 
cute. I don't need to check over the seams as much because they, um, it's like it's just a sample bag. They can be, like, they can be a little bit of holes. This is the finished bag. I see some improvements that need to be made, but it's like that. They definitely need to be shorter straps if it's going to be like just like the tiniest bit shorter because otherwise it's going to be way too long and feel like it fall off. Let's fill it. I always just put towel in these to fill it because I like, thought it was so obvious. I don't Good morning guys, I'm going to leave the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching me make a tote bag. If you wanted to follow me on socials, there'll be more information of when I release that one. I've just placed an order for all of the fabric for it and I've got a new print as well. So I'm really excited to show you and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!